Hello, I'm Rebel. Welcome to my channel. So in this video, I am going to show you how to run the Dark Ether story mission and collect all the parts you will need to uh, turn them gold to open up the Dark Ether. So when you start, uh, you'll have this ship on your left. Um, there's probably different ways of doing it. I'm just going to show you the one that works for me. So you're going to encounter a lot of zombies. So, you know, you want to make sure you've got some decoys, some monkeys. Um, and, you know, something that should be really easy isn't. So you see this truck? Jump up here. And I'm hoping this works uh, because it's a pain in the ass. But this is the only way I, I know how to get up. So having your dog really helps. Come on, get up there. Get up. Right. Get up here. Up here. Take your time, right? Take your time. You don't want to. You don't want to miss the truck. Missing the truck is a pain in the backside. You're better off to wait. Okay, so jump up the truck. Oh my god, we didn't nearly didn't make it. We're gonna wait again. Uh, do, you, do you know how many times I've fallen off this truck? Right, so hop up. This is a pain in the butt to get through. Because you can't, so just jump up here, over the top. Right, so um, throughout the story mission, there is these obelisks. This one, you activate. There should have been an insta kill here. Oh, there it is. Right, so I would let some zombies spawn in before grabbing the insta kill, and you need to melee attack them. Okay? We're going to let them spawn in a little bit. They're pretty slow and stupid. Right, here we go. And you're going to want a melee attack inside the circle and feel the thing. Oh, that was really quick. Okay? And then grab your part. Oh, crap. I didn't think about that. Um, see, what can I swap that sentry gun for? Oh, I'll do. Um, right, so that's the first one done. So after you do the first one, you're going to want to just start the story mission like you would normally. Um, because we're going to do the story mission and grab all the parts in one go. Now the second one is like en route. And I brought in all these different uh, ammo mods. Because other videos that I've seen, uh, they've been great. But what they didn't tell me was, like... Uh, See, I'll show you when we get there. So when you get to this red thing here, up, you know, as you continue in the story mission, you're going to want to head here. So F8. All right. You can just leave the thing there. I've got a sentry gun on it. Now, this is the tough one. The other ones are really easy. This one, you have to shoot. I mean, first you have to find the totem. Um... And then you have to shoot uh, the zombies with the corresponding ammo mod, okay? Um, and I found this really, really challenging. Um, so, first you've got to find the thing, though. Um, it normally is right where I think it's going to be. There it is. No, it's not. It will be here, though, somewhere. There it is. So, right, the other thing is, I've come in with all these ammo mods, but let's just throw a decoy. Right, so it's Napalm Burst to start with. So you look on here, that says Cryo Freeze, that says Brain Rot, and this one says Dead Wire. So it's not even there. The one I want is not even there. It's a good job I brought it in, really. Um, and so, yeah. I brought all the IMM mods in with me because I've messed this up so many times. I really didn't want to do that. Has it changed? It's changed to cryo freeze. So I mean, I brought cryo freeze in with me, but cryo freeze is 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 is, is here somewhere. Hold on. That's brain rock. Cryo freeze. Right, it's not letting me grab it for some reason. There we go. 
the cry freeze on and then shoot your zombies. You'll know if, if they're going in because obviously they'll have a little, you know, they'll be, their souls will be getting sucked in, you know. Right, so it's changed again and it's this, this purple lightning one, that is dead wire. So that's napalm, that's frame rot. Good job I brought it in, really. So, I mean, it's up to you, but when when this thing runs out of, of uh, I mean, it's there now, but I've had it where I picked the wrong one and, um, wait, it's not doing it, is it? Are their souls getting sucked in? Yes. Okay. It's always good to double check. So, and the last one will be Brain Rot, and I bought that in, but I'm going to buy it off the, off the totem anyway. Yeah, I found this one really, really tricky. Right, it's changed again. And now there's no smoke, right? That means it's Brain Rot. So, have a look on the... Ah, oh, that's for a decoy. Get these fuckers away from me. That's Napalm. What's that? It won't let me see. That's Brain Rot. Okay, so grab your brain rock and then kill some zombies. You'll know when they're going in, this is the thing you'll get, you know, their souls will be getting sucked in. I mean, it's always good if you're going to try this to, to, to bring the, bring some in with you. Do you know what I mean? Like, I've messed this one up so many times. I mean, my dog is actually murdering too many zombies here. He's going on a rampage. No, it doesn't matter. There we go. And that's your second part, which is uh, the mirror. So we've got that, which is all good. Right, let me go run, run back to Ravenoff, who is somewhere here. And just continue the story. Right, so once he's dead, Ravenoff almost died as well. Right, so once he is dead, oh, didn't want to do that. No, we are not going through the portal. You need your chalice. Don't forget your chalice, all right? But once he is dead, grab your chalice. You can do it either way and head here, this crossroads, okay? We'll probably have to dump something that I've got. Get to this crossroads. No, we've got space for it. But eight minutes left, so we're fine. And here's your third one. And this one, all all this one is is headshots. That's all. That's all you got to do. Just get headshots. So it's quite simple. Um, you know, having. Uh, Oh, 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 oh
Hello, I'm Rebel. Welcome back. So we spawned into another game. Uh, you want to spawn in with your gloves, your chalice, the mirror, and whatever that thing is, or the target. Um, I brought in a couple of extra perks because this one can be tricky. So what you want to do is head over to the graveyard to start with, uh, which is, it looks like it's between... I mean, it's right here on the map, okay? So it's between H and I, uh, H and I 3, okay? So once you get here, you've got the main church up here, you come over to this little crypt, and you'll get a prompt. Which, there you go, a little prompt. Put the relic down. Then you'll get some zombies spawn in, okay? Um, and he looks like he is... Um, uh, cryo freeze and so you're gonna get up here on the walls will be what you need okay so napalm burst uh, brain rot and guess what no cryo that is so weird right so did I bring cryo in I did so let's just put cryo on and find our zombie that's cryo freeze here he is Okay. Damn it, I missed my revolver. Um. Right, so I didn't bring a spanner in, which is probably a mistake. Or pack a punch. Doesn't matter, we'll still do it. As long as you've got. Oh, I only have to do one. Norm normally you have to do three. Normally there's three zombies, but for some reason there was only one. Okay, so that one's turned gold. Okay, and then we're going to move on to the next one. Um, there's three to do, so we'll move on to the next one. Oh, it was there on the ground. Oh, wait, I picked it up again. I get another chance at it. Oh my god, the first time I did this. Well, there's, there's something you learn every day. Because the first time I did this, I had to go back into the dark ether. So, right, we're going to try this again. One. Two. I can see one there. I can see one there. Okay, so one there. One here. One up here. One here. Oh my god, I'm so glad it dropped it up for me again. One here. Right, there should be one left. Round the back. And like I said, when you shoot it, a zombie will spawn in. And when he does, you have to kill him with headshots. Okay, here we go. Oh no, I'm really wishing I packed my gun. But at least you can see you can do it without a uh, a spanner or a crystal. But he has to die with headshots. Excellent. And then spawns in the part you need. Right now, after that kerfuffle, we'll move on to the next one. So we're back, and we're not far from the target range, actually. So we're here at the boxing gym, okay? Uh, which is, like, between E and F, uh, and just up from 8. But you can see it because it looks like this building, okay? It's a funny-looking building, and it's just here. The, the range was here, so we just come over here to the boxing ring. So when you get here, okay, get your fists out, jump in the ring, offer up your thing, then you have to go... And punch the bags until they all set on fire, all three. Then you have to jump in the ring and you have to bend up and fight this zombie. And that will give you your final part. That will give you the golden gloves. Right. Now we will move and we will go and place these on the pedestals. Right. So once you've uh, turned all your things gold, like we've just shown you, 
come up here to where the new thingy is, and each thing corresponds to a thinglet. So that's the mirror. Oh, it's not going to let me do it. It's not going to let me do it because I've already got the I've already got the open. Okay, well, okay. So you would put the gold one here. Okay, each one corresponds. I mean, to be honest, I'm quite glad because I am not pack a punch or have a thingy, and now the zombies are coming. Um, so literally, run round, look. Uh, that's that's your cup goes there, boxing gloves there, and the last one is the target, which is over here. All right, and that is it, and that will open up the portal. Um, and then once the portal is open, you get a mimic come out. He's pretty hardcore, so make sure you can uh, take him on. You know, um, we're going to leave all these bits here for someone else. Uh, we're getting the hell out of here I'm Rebel, thank you for watching um, and that's how uh, to uh, open up the new portal right, catch me next time and uh, um, if you've enjoyed this video please give us a thumbs up and if you're not subscribed to my channel please do so, I pretty much play zombies every day, uh, love it mostly play solo um, and if I can help in any way I will do so but I want to thank you for watching, see you next time